It's something that you can't even imagine uh, what it does to you. And, uh, you know, what it did to my wife, you know, uh, Marilyn, it was, it was really hard on her. You know, we, we struggled and, and, uh, you know, cause you're in a daze, you know, you, you, few clothes that you got out and I mean, you get you, everything and you start thinking about everything. And, you know, I still, I picture things that you, you wonder at what point they started to burn. Uh, you uh, have to deal with the insurance portion of it, which, uh, you know, that was one part that Marilyn really struggled with was, we, you know, we had to list everything. And um, so that was, she really had a, had a problem with that. It's, you know, it's, they say losing your house and everything you own is the next thing to losing a family member. And then the insurance companies rub your nose in it and make you relive the whole situation by going back through everything you have. And if you do have pictures, you know, it's good, but it's bad. You're sitting there looking at what you had that's not there anymore, and it just makes you relive the whole thing over and over and over. After we met with our adjuster and found out everything that we needed to do and brought him up here, uh, just a couple days after we uh, were allowed to get back up here, we'd been up here, but uh, we brought him up. and We stood here, you know, he explained to us everything we needed to do, and I said, you know what, my, my premiums are based on a certain dollar amount for my dwelling and a certain dollar amount for my contents. As you can see, everything in my house and my storage building this structure was insured separately. So I said, as you can see, everything's gone. So you need to write me a check. And, and he agreed with me. But he said, that's not the way it works. Um, when I found, you know, we found out that we had to list everything. I mean, from your socks, your shoes, your boots, your underwear, uh, how many long sleeve shirts you have, how many short sleeve shirts you have. Uh, and then it's not just listing them, you got to list uh, where you got them, the date you bought them, how much you paid for them, and replacement cost. I found out all this and it, it made me mad, you know, because, you know, we've been paying our premiums to our insurance company for years and years. And uh, so I sat down and I emailed uh, a letter to the governor, the insurance commissioner, state representatives and state senators and uh, you know voicing my opinion on this thing and the complications that it's causing so many people and you know it wasn't just us there were 281 homes here in Larimer County that burnt in that fire so there it affected a lot of people and you know Marilyn and I were just dealing with the two of us you know, there are a lot of a lot of homes that had children in them too, and you got you try to keep their lives as normal as possible. So it, it affected a lot of people. But within 15 minutes after that email went out, John Kafalas got back with me, and we communicated and talked, and and I said, you know, I would like to have a public hearing set up on this. So August 29th, after the fire. Uh, on, on, in June, we had a public hearing down at the Larimer County Courthouse <clears throat> and uh, state representatives were there, uh, uh, state legislators I should say. The governor couldn't make it. He sent a, he sent a representative. Uh, Jim Reisberg, the state insurance commissioner, he was there. And we had a great turnout and people got to voice their opinions and and they listened and Claire Levy was there from from down in the Boulder area and and I communicated with her so much through emails and and we got this this new bill lined up and she sponsored it in the house and uh, it passed the house and uh, there were some things in there that I didn't like at all, and John said, we'll amend them in the, in the Senate, 
and they got amended in there through through the help of John Kafalis and Jeannie Nicholson. She's she's wonderful too. They they listen to you, and so we got a, a new bill passed. It was signed into law um, uh, May May tenth uh, of last year, <clears throat> and uh, which it's it was some of the, one of the things in there. The one of the biggest things in this fire is people were so underinsured. <clears throat> the average dwelling in this fire was underinsured $103,000. The average contents was underinsured $94,000. Usually your contents is a percentage of your dwelling. It varies from insurance company to insurance company, but it's 50 to 70 percent of what your dwelling limit is is what your contents limit is usually. <clears throat> and so uh, one of the things that, that got passed in this new bill is every two years now, the insurance company has to give you a replacement cost value of your house. Because the mortgage company, if you have one, they only care, they only care that there's enough insurance on it to cover their mortgage. Because when you get your insurance check, it's made out to you and the mortgage company. They're going to get their portion whether you have to live in a cardboard box or not. So uh, you don't want it insured for the dwelling or for the uh, mortgage amount. You don't want it insured for market value because if you buy a home in a de depressed economy, home prices are down, you could pay $200,000 for a house and it could cost you two fifty dollars to $300,000 to replace it. So you get a, a, an estimated replacement cost value of your house. Then, if you choose not to insure it for that amount, that's your fault. You know, the homeowner bears some of the responsibility, but what's been done so much in the past, the insurance company sets all the limits on your, on your coverages. And you're, they're, you're underinsured. So that was passed. There's there's a lot of things in there. You had we had originally had in our policy says you've got 60 days to limit everything in your house. <clears throat> and I, you know, I told him I said at that time Marilyn and I had been married 47 years. It went on for so long. So I said, you know, we lost the first 30 days of this situation. So you expect us to jam 47 years of our life into 30 days, and and they extended it. But now everybody has a year has 365 days to make their list. What I was really pushing for uh, in this bill was a valued policy law, which it's in 19 states. The valued policy law states that in the event you lose, you have a total loss, the insurance company is mandated to pay you the limits of your dwelling and the limits of your contents without making you list anything or depreciating anything. So it's like a life insurance policy on your house and a life insurance policy on your content. It's plain and simple, cut and dried. Uh, uh, so that's really what I was pushing for, but the legislators thought it was, it was too much because we had really had opposition when we testified before the House and the Senate. The insurance lobby was big and, you know, opposed to all of this stuff. And, and uh, they felt it would it was too much to try to get this through at this time, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, I, it was a cause, and it was a, you know, I had so many people come up to me afterwards and say, you know, we didn't think you had a chance at this, let alone to do it in one session, and, and we did it, and with the help of the state, proper state legislators, you know, they, they were, we had support and, you know, too, we had momentum, you know, we, it was big enough volume between us and the Waldo Canyon fire. Uh, there are a lot of homes, you know, 650 homes uh, right there uh, just within the month of June. So we had a lot of momentum behind us and, and it was, you know, it's like they say, strike while the iron's hot and I guess we did. So.